what you're reading, Eddie. A good book, Jake, called Don Quixote. That's pronounced Coyote. I read that in school. All about some crazy Spanish knight, right? Sorta, I guess. But I, but I think the point of the book is that Don Quix, I mean, uh, Coyote, always tried to do good deeds, even for people who didn't appreciate them. Well, if you say so, chum, but I wouldn't take that book too seriously. It's pretty old. Heck, I doubt if anyone else in the whole world is actually reading it. Lies out, Alberto. Oh, but Papa, I'm just to the most exciting part. Don Quixote is going to... I'm sorry, Alberto. You have school tomorrow, and you need your rest. Lights out. You can read Don Quixote tomorrow. Oh, all right, Papa. Good night. Good night, Humberto. And then as Don Quixote de la Mancha rode forth to do battle, his squire, Sancho Panza, was preparing to... Is Humberto reading with the flashlight again? Oh, he needs to sleep. Yes, but I hate to discourage him. Reading is so important. Especially since we have no money to send our son to a good university. I will give him a few more minutes before... I. Huh? Ramon, what can that be? Motorcycles. And they're headed this way. <gasps> oh, Ramon! I do not like the looks of this. Go to Umberto and Milita. I'll hold. Ay, ay, ay. You mongrels! How dare you attack us? Get out this instant! Hey, man, take it easy. We just came to party. Yeah! No! Stop this instant! <laughs> Release me, you fiends! Good catch, Yella. Now hold him there while we have some fun. <gasps> Mama, look! My book! It's glowing! And Sancho Panza! Hey, wait for me, master! Come on, Dapple, andale! This was just a warning, farmer. Move out, or we'll be back. You monstrous! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> Ghost! Varlicks! Unhand that simple peasant! <laughs> After the violet, Sancho! No me digas más! And then the motorcycle hoodlums ran away, with the ghost after them. I cannot go to the police. They would think that I was crazy. So I have come to you, Enrique, for advice. You are my friend. You are both wealthy and wise. Tell me, what should I do? Uh, a ghost, huh? Sounds bad. Yes, a ghost. But I'm not sure he was bad. He actually helped scare off the hoodlums, I think. Uh, a ghost is a ghost. And I know just who to call. Miss Garcia, get me the Ghostbusters! Hi! The 
Ghostbusters have gone out of business. We have not. Well, you might as well. Ghostbusters, Jake Kong speaking. The ghost of Don Quixote? Hey, we were just talking about him. We'll be right there. Got a job, guys. In the uniform. Let's go, go! were as light as your heads, my job would be a lot easier. What ghost do we have to bust in Spain, Jake? An odd one, Eddie. According to the report, it's the ghost of Don Quixote. You're kidding. But Don uh, Quixote wasn't bad. Hey, all I know is what I was told, Eddie. We'll find out more when we get there. Well, your problems will soon be over. The Ghostbusters are on their way. I, uh... Gracias, Enrique. But how about the motorcyclists? I worry about them more than the ghost. One thing at a time, Ramon. One thing at a time. But... Trust me. Adios. <laughs> the Ghostbusters will take care of that ghost. And then you three can go back to work on Ramon de la Torres. That stupid farmer doesn't know it. But his farm is right on top of the richest copper mine in all of Spain. A what mine? Copper, you idiot. Copper. Copper? A policeman? Where? Ay, 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 muy stupido. No, you fools. Copper is a valuable metal. It is used for making money. And I love to make money. That's why I'm paying you three hoodlums to terrorize Ramon de la Torres. His land is right on top of a rich copper mine. I want him scared off the land so I can buy it cheap. And I will not tolerate any more failure. So sorry, Sandoval, but what were we supposed to do about a ghost? The ghost will be taken care of. You... Must make sure you do your job. I want Ramon de la Torre scared of his farm. Tonight! <laughs> oh, Ramon, I'm so worried. Ghosts and hoodlums, I wish we could call the police. No, Emilita. Arike said that we must not call the police. We must trust him. Huh? Hoofbeats! Caramba! That ghost is still out there! Uh, the, the, the ghost!
ghost is still there, Senor Sandoval. Yeah, and he's already chased us off once. We can't go back in until he's taken care of. He'll be taken care of. The Ghostbusters should be here soon. And as soon as they bust that ghost, you three can go bust up the Delatoris farm some more. The sooner you run that farmer and his family off the land, the sooner I can buy it. And the sooner I get that land, <laughs> the sooner it will make me rich. <laughs> Listen, do you hear that? That, I believe, my dear villainous vipers, is the Ghostbusters. Oh, Ramon, what can it be? I, I'm not sure, Amiguita. It sounds like jets. But why would a jet be flying way out here? I do not know. The crew must either be lost or complete fools. Oh, boy! The Ghostbusters! No, Umberto! Stay here! Ay, caramba! This is great! The Ghostbusters are coming! Yeah, me dif! Dust! It figures! And I just had a wax job, too! Familia de la Torres? I'm Jake Kong of the Ghostbusters. We understand that you've been having a little trouble with the ghost of Don Quixote. Si. No! Don Quixote was a good man. His ghost would never hurt anyone. He's right, you know. Hush, Humberto. As Senor Sandoval said, a ghost is a ghost. Right. So now, if you'll just show us this ghost, we'll bust him and be on our way. Oh, th th there. What? <laughs> Identify thyself, knaves! Are ye men of peace? Whoa, we're men of peace! He's an ape of peace! Don't waste your time talking to a ghost, Eddie! It's ghost busting time! See, you're not kidding! You rock! The dematerializer! It's ruined! Oh, just like we're gonna be! If we don't get out of here! Gangway! Cowardly volets! Stand and fight! Some Ghostbusters! The ghost is chasing them! No matter. At least the ghost is after them, and not guarding the house. So get down there, you vermin! I want the little scared off that farm now! Mama Sita! Engines! The motorcyclists are returning! Oh, Ramon, please, no matter what Senor Sandoval said, call the police, police! I think you are right, Emily. Telephone is dead. Oh, Ramon, I, I, I. Greetings, farmer. We're back. Ah, uh, th th think Don Quixote's trying to make a point here, J Jake. Yeah. Well, try to reason with him, Eddie. After all, you were reading the book. Yeah, that's right. And from what I remember, Don Quixote was no bully. I am Don Quixote de la Mancha, defender of the weak, champion of the helpless. If that's so, then why did you attack us? I attack you? You attacked me! He's right, you know. Yeah, but we had a report that you'd been attacking the De La Torreses. Attacking them? Caramba! I was defending them from those machine-riding monsters. Oh! Always are my good deeds misunderstood. He's probably telling the truth, Jake. That was always happening to Don Quixote in the book. You might be right, Eddie. I... <laughs> Master, the criminales, they have returned. Those caracoles! 
We shall face the wrath of Don Quixote de la Mancha. What's going on? I think there's trouble at the De La Torres' farm. Let's go. Ready to move out yet, farmer? Or do you need some more convincing? Oh, not my clock. It was a present from my grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> that was some mistake, farmer. I'm gonna. Carla Goles! Dogs! To attack a defenseless family, would you dare have the courage to attack Don Quixote de la Mancha? It's the ghost! I'm getting out of here! <laughs> Right you are, Eddie. And they're getting away. Get that ghost gummer ready, Eddie. It's time to go into action. Hit it! is going to be a little fuller tonight, eh, Don Quixote? Such is the fate of evil, Jake. Yes. This'll teach us to trust that rat, Enrique Sandoval. Enrique? But he is my friend. How could he possibly have anything to do with this? Your good friend found out that your farm was right over a rich copper mine. He was trying to scare you off the property so he could get it for himself. Is this true? Carambulas! Of course it's true, you peasant! I was going to make a fortune. Aha! But now, of course, the fortune will be yours, Senor de la Torres. Ramon! Did you hear that? Do you realize what this means? Yes, Emilita. It means... We will be able to send Umberto to the university after all. Looks like a real happy ending, Don Quixote. That is the best kind, Senor Spencer. Don Quixote, I'd like to apologize for the way I acted when we first met. I was wrong to decide you were bad without giving you a chance. Worry not, Mr. Gong. If you have read my books, you will know that such errors were common in my adventures. Don Quixote? I... I would be honored if you would autograph my copy of Don Quixote. I'd like to remember you always. You will, my son. Every time you read my adventures. For that is the adventure of reading. That you can always visit me again. And thus, the story is never over. Yep, I couldn't have said it better myself. I'll say. <laughs> oh, hi there. In today's story, we met a little boy who liked to read books. And he got to meet the ghost of his favorite hero, Don Quixote, and have an adventure with the Ghostbusters. Now, you may not meet your favorite ghost when you pick up a book, but you can always be sure of having a great adventure, because that's what reading is, a great and wonderful adventure inside your imagination. Bye now, and happy reading!